That's a demonstration of just how creative thieves are getting. Brazen robbers busting through garage doors. Tonight, what they're stealing in these brash home break-ins in Santa Maria. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Lopez. And I'm Scott Hennessy. Our top story at 6, thieves take advantage of the excitement on the 4th of July holiday. And while people are enjoying the fireworks, the bad guys moved in. But it's not what they stole, but how they're doing it that has one Orchid neighborhood on edge. KCOY's Neil Wong spoke to one of the victims about the thefts, and she joins us live now from the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's substation in Santa Maria with more Nia. Paula, that's right. When I was growing up, bikes, sports equipment, expensive power tools, you name it, were all kept in my garage. But after speaking to one of the victims this morning, I've learned that all of that can be vulnerable to thieves with something as simple as a wire hanger. Yeah, they're, they're not going for the kids' bikes, but it's definitely hitting high-end cyclists. Tony Gambrudi says he and his wife discovered their garage partially open on the morning of July 4th with a hole cut out on top. I've heard about this happening in more big metropolitan areas, San Francisco and L.A., but yeah, not here. Gambrudi believes thieves used a wire hanger shown in this YouTube video to disable his automatic garage door opener. It doesn't work because it's been unconnected from the, the rails. A method that only takes seconds for thieves to get the goods you think are stored safely in your garage. Gambrudi didn't lose anything, but his neighbor a dozen doors down wasn't so lucky. And they got two, two of his really nice bikes. Bikes estimated to be worth thousands of dollars. These people are definitely targeting cyclists, whether they're following them home, if they're following them on social media. We're not exactly sure how they find out. Gambrudi's neighbors on Woodmere Road are also on guard. Sure, it concerns me. I've got bicycles here, and um, some of them I value quite a bit. Ross says though it's rare, he has seen some strangers peeping through garages. It's, it feels to me like it's kind of rude and intrusive, but every once in a while you wonder if they're maybe looking to see what you've got in there for possibly coming back and stealing. When it comes to securing his garage, Ross recommends using a clamp and even zip ties to stop thieves from using this wire hanger method. I'm advising all my customers if they have to keep their bikes in the garage, for one, fortify the lock, you know, that quick release, disable and lock the bike in the garage. It's, 